Hello, Chris Crane here with the Flood Insurance Guru. And today we're talking about the impacts that a lot of burned areas are going to start having on flood zones. Uh, one big example is the campfire in California. But some other areas that people don't think about are areas like Utah, Colorado, where they've had a lot of forest fires during the summertime and a lot of vegetation has burned. And not just those areas, even if you get into the areas of like Arizona, New Mexico, uh, they can cause some issues. What happens is when these areas burn like this, uh, vegetation is destroyed, like the campfire in California. While since that vegetation is destroyed, what happens is a passive hazard now because of an active hazard. So what it does is it creates the opportunity for higher risk floods and it creates the opportunity for higher risk flood mud flows and landslides. And so a lot of questions we get here is, hey, I'm not in a high risk flood zone, but we've had a lot of burn in the area. Well, what happens is it takes FEMA sometimes a few years to go in and look at what the difference is when it comes to these flood maps. You know, do they need to update them? Do they not? Let's just take the campfire, for example. You saw how much it burned across Florida. Well, it, I mean, across California. So you can see that it might take FEMA a couple years to update it. But what's happened is in the meantime, it's put people maybe into a high risk flood zone that FEMA has not reclassified yet. So this is one major question we get. Hey, what happens if water starts coming down? It creates a landslide, creates a mud flow. Am I covered? Am I not? Well, if you don't have flood insurance on your property, then you're not gonna be covered for the mud flow and you're not gonna be covered for the flood. However, if it's a landslide, you wanna make sure you have that landslide coverage on there, which is something we offer here at the Flood Insurance Guru as well, as it's part of that flood, that's landslide and that mud flow coverage. So even though you might be in a low risk flood zone, if you're in an area that's had a lot of burning lately, uh, we would recommend taking a look at a flood insurance policy. Because as we mentioned, with that vegetation being gone now, a lot of the protection that you had before might be gone. So if you've got questions, if you live in Colorado, Arizona, New Mexico, California, really anywhere in the mountains or anywhere that you've had a lot of burn in the area from forest fires during the summertime and you're concerned about how it could be impacting your flood insurance, please reach out to us, floodinsuranceguru.com. Go to our YouTube and our Facebook channels, The Flood Insurance Guru, where we do daily videos. And you can always give us a call, 205-451-4294. Thank you.